Okay, yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and you know, this, this may not actually be as bad as I was thinking. The entire top of the tire is fine. It's actually only the bottom that's flat, so I'm probably in better shape than I was, uh, than I was thinking that I was, huh? Okay, yeah, this is not my joke. It's, it's recycled, but it's kind of funny. Um, I'll share with you at the end of the video where I, I got the joke from. Uh, incidentally, my tire is not really flat. I didn't flatten the tire just for this. See, there's, a, there's an image here. Yeah, I'll put my hand behind it. See, just an image of the tire. I kind of deformed it and brought the ground up a little bit to make it look like that. Pretty clever. Like we're not cutting to the opening. Oh yeah, we need like some sort of like an like a building of energy to go into the opening. You know, and there's usually like the big explosion and okay. And I'll, I'll just like I'll, I'll, I'll make like some noise like. Whoa! This is Praxis, and in this video I'm going to be using uh, this product I've never used before called slime. It's this green slime stuff that's supposed to be used for patching up a hole in a tire or something like that. It's kind of an emergency thing. I've had it in my car for a while, but I, I've had this wheelbarrow that I inherited from someone. It was a little rickety. It needed some of the uh, hardware to be replaced, which I did, and the tire kind of chronically leaks on this thing. Uh, I can fill it up with my bike pump at the beginning of the day, and it can get me kind of to the end of the day, you know, still having some air in the tire, but by the time next morning rolls around, the thing's lost all of its air and I have to pump it up again. So, tiring of that, I've been thinking I'd like to maybe try using out this slime. It would be a good test to see how it works before I, you know, depend on it in an emergency situation on the side of the road to like, you know, uh, you know, get my tire patched up if I get a hole in it or something. So I'm gonna be pumping it in here, see how it works, and then, you know, I'll share my, uh, my findings with you if it actually fixes the tire because this only costs a few dollars and if it can repair a, you know, a whole tire and get it working again, then uh, that'll be well worth the money. There's a table right on the side of the bottle that uh, says how much uh, volume of this you should put in different types of tires. This is a wheelbarrow that I'm fixing and it says I should use about eight ounces. There's a little black top uh, that comes on the uh, container and that's a tool for removing that little uh, pin in the inside of the uh, of the valve stem here. So I'm putting that tool in and I'm not sure exactly. Do I twist it? It says on the side that I should take it and uh, slowly remove the valve core with the tool in the cap. I think I might have gotten it. Felt something pop. Yeah, I didn't grab anything. Let's try that again. Okay, yeah, it's coming out now. So what we're removing right now is that little... Is it ready to come out? Yeah. We're removing that little pin that you have to push in in order to let the air in and out. So now the tire can freely breathe through that area there. So I'm going to put the pin down and the tool down. And now we're going to take the bottle and I, it says I should put about eight ounces in. I'm going to slide it right on there. And I'm realizing I'm, I'm going to have to hold this upside down so I guess I'm going to be measuring from the top down. So we're going to want for it to come down to this eight, eight ounces level. As I'm squeezing it in. It's going in pretty easily. It's important to have the uh, valve stem up at the top because it's supposed to be pooling down at the bottom, apparently. Okay, a lot of this, ooh, it's kind of oozing over the cap, too. I uns ugh, there we go. I guess I can put that on the outside to seal the outside of the tire. I accidentally unscrewed the cap a little bit as I was doing this, apparently. Okay, I feel like I should be getting pretty close. Okay, that seems like about eight ounces right there. I'm going to remove this. It's probably a little messier than it needed to be. <laughs> All right. And now we got to put the valve stem back in using their little tool. And it was... It screws in which way? Okay, so... This way to screw it back in. Alright, and then it slides out, and now, oh man, I wish my hands weren't so filthy. 
Now we've got all that goop on the inside of the tire here, and we're going to fill the tire up. I'm just going to use a regular bike pump to do that. And we're going to fill this one up, likes to be about 30 pounds. And that's 20 pounds. Yeah, this tire was just all dried, so there's just little micro cracks in it that are, you know, slow leaking. My hope is that this green stuff is just going to ooze into all those cracks and and fill them up and then I don't have to pump this thing up every single time I want to use it okay Get that there and I'm gonna put this away a little bit get the rubber tube off put that very important tool back into the top and the next step is what I want to do is get the uh, this thing just rolling around a lot so that the green is going to kind of coat the whole inside there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use it for the day. And then in a couple days, I'm going to come back and see if it's still filled up. Look at this. It's like a little, like a fungus ball. It's kind of cute. Anyway, it has been about two weeks since I did the patch job on the tire and I wanted to share with you guys uh, the results of, of what happened there. So here's the, uh, the wheelbarrow right here. And I can show you guys what it looks like. And it's firm. It held together. The, the little uh, cracks along the side, you can still kind of see them, but they're just cosmetic on the outside at this point. As far as the inside surface, it is nice and firm. And uh, the tire didn't deflate after all the time. Normally, that tire would be you know, flat the very next day. So it's, if you're ever in a situation where you have you know, a flat tire and you're out somewhere and you want to have a quick fix that you feel can be actually reliable, this stuff seems like it really works. And it's nice to have that. I, I, keep, um, I keep this thing in the back of my car if anything ever happens and I need to you know, have some way of dealing with a flat tire, you know, outside of, like, just, just a spare. So, uh, you know, it's just nice to have options when you're out there, and options that actually function and seem to work really well. Well, that's what we're all looking for, I suppose. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.